topics or pieces of legislation that we're going to discuss today. So two of us will start with the first uh, the first topic, and then we'll turn it over uh, to Representative McCauley, who will talk about the second one. Then at the end, uh, we will open it up for questions for both conversations. So with that, good afternoon. This is clearly a special time of year. Whether you participate in the, in the celebration of religious rebirth or the start of a new year, both offer hope and promise. Maybe it is just the season of new starts and all the optimism of the upcoming New Year's resolutions that make the findings from the Attorney General Mike DeWine's investigation so difficult for us to read. On Friday, Attorney General Mike DeWine released information regarding his, in, his investigation into various Planned Parenthood facilities in the state of Ohio. His investigations resulted in the discovery that aborted bodies of baby boys and girls in these locations had been in many cases improperly disposed of. We have all been measured by how we treat our own, our most vulnerable in our state, our weakest. Some may debate on the definition of who is the most vulnerable, but I've spent my entire legislative career supporting those vulnerable folks in the state of Ohio that need us. This press conference is about doing just that. You may expect me to say, as a woman and a mother, that I'm deeply disturbed by the Attorney General's investigation. But the truth is, if I was a man or a father, I would be equally disturbed. There are no words to describe the actions at these facilities other than horrific. There's been obviously a lot of talk across the country about Planned Parenthood, with all sides offering differing arguments on these important issues. Take all of those discussions and arguments and move them aside for a moment. I think what the Attorney General's investigations offered is a reality that I just don't think anyone can support. People can and surely will return to the respective corners um, and discuss what should be done about the issue. But I would hope that if nothing else, this one issue will bring some unity to the conversation, even if just for a little while. Together as man, woman, father, mother, as brothers and sisters representing life, from conception through death, it is our ability to respect life is a gift that needs to be valued. In response to the Attorney General's findings, Representative Tim Ginter and I are sponsoring legislation that will address this very issue. And with that, I would like to turn it over to the Representative. Thank you, Representative Sears. Good afternoon. It is truly sad that we must join together today under these circumstances. I, like Representative Sears and our other representatives here today, am deeply disturbed by what the Attorney General has found in his investigation. I think as the legislature, we have a duty to take steps to address the issues that were raised during his investigation in a legislative way. Speaker Rosenberger has tasked Representative Sears and me with introducing legislation that will ensure that fetal remains at hospitals and other health care facilities are treated the same as human remains and in accordance with Ohio law. Currently, law requires the director of the Department of Health to develop rules regarding the humane disposition of the product of conception. Agency rules today simply state that the fetus must be disposed of in a humane manner. It is our goal with this legislation to provide clarity and to make this more specific. Our proposal will require the director of the Ohio Department of Health to adopt rules requ requiring any facility providing an abortion to only dispose of the child by means of burial or cremation. Like Representative Sears said, these findings contain some very graphic and horrific information. When I first heard of the report, I went through a range of emotions very quickly. Uh, I first experienced shock and then sadness, and then my sadness turned to anger and I believe it has finally settled into what I would call resolve, that something must be done. I know that Representative Sears and I is, and, and our other representatives here who will speak in a moment, as well as millions of people throughout this state will continue to stand up for respecting human life. We'll continue to pray for all life. And I believe that the real nexus of this bill is to stand up to respect human dignity and bring these chilling practices to a deserved end. I will 